welcome back in this segment we will discuss uh, s and op grid for a made to order production environment apparently this grid looks very similar to a made to stock production environment but some of the entries and calculations are definitely different for example in the case of made to stock production environment we had sales at the top here we are having bookings because this is a made to order production environment then very similar to a made to stock production environment we have some entries and calculations related to production or shipment and finally instead of finished goods inventory we are having order backlog in this case and backlog is an integral part of a made to order production environment a backlog is an order that uh, has been received by the manufacturing organization but that has yet not been delivered to the customer so uh, the entries and calculation under booking are very similar to uh, to the entries and calculation under sales in the case of make to stock production environment so uh, there is a forecast of bookings then there are actual bookings difference of the two cumulative difference and difference as a percentage uh, just as a recall if this difference is negative that means actual bookings are less than forecast so a minus f is negative so you are over forecasting and vice versa under production or shipment the entries and calculations are similar to a made to stock production environment so you have some production plan then there are some Uh, actual shipments actual production or actual shipments uh, but here we are focusing more on shipments uh, because after shipment your backlog actually reduces if you have produced something but you have not delivered it uh, the backlog doesn't reduce and then the difference of the two cumulative difference and difference as a percentage so again negative entry here means that actual shipments are less than the planned ship finally the backlog uh, we will see how different calculations are made uh, under this heading of order backlog uh, for example first we will see the planned backlog so planned backlog is simply equal to uh, the planned backlog of previous month plus forecast for this month minus uh, planned production or shipments for this month so for example if we focus on april so the planned backlog for april will be equal to planned backlog for march plus forecast for april so this 57 plus 60 in this case is something that the manufacturing organization owes that is something that has to be delivered 57 from the previous month plus 60 from this uh, minus what is planned to be shipped so that is 50 So fifty-seven plus sixty uh, minus fifty uh, will definitely be equal to sixty-seven. So that sixty-seven is the planned backlog. So planned backlog of previous month plus uh, uh, what you forecast to be produced this month minus what you plan to produce uh, this month. So that is sixty-seven. then actual backlog that is practically more important that will be equal to actual backlog of previous month plus actual bookings of this month minus actual shipments of this month so again uh, calculating for the month of april that will be equal to uh, actual backlog of march that is 59 plus actual bookings for april that is 50 minus actual shipments for april that is 53 so 59 uh, plus 50 is something that you have to deliver so 59 from previous month plus 50 from this month minus 53 so that is something that uh, you have uh, you have delivered so that will reduce the backlog actually so that will be equal to 56 actual backlog is 56 actual backlog of previous month plus actual bookings 
minus actual shipments. Finally, we have to calculate the backlog in terms of weeks. So that is actually the backlog of previous month that is uh, that is that is moving to the next month. So again, if you make calculations for the month of April, so for May we have a we have a planned production or shipment of 50 units. So in weekly terms, that will be equal to 50 divided by four. So that will be 12.5. So weekly uh, production plan is 12.5 units. Now actual backlog, as we just calculated for, for the month of uh, April is uh, 56. So I repeat that weekly plan production for May is 12.5 units and actual backlog for April is 56. Now this 56, that is actual backlog divided by 12.5, that is a weekly plan for, for May, that will be equal to 4.48 or approximately 4.5. So this is 4.5. The backlog of April uh, in terms of weeks, but that is based on the planned production for the month of May. So we can, we can say that uh, with respect to production plan for the, uh, for the month of May, we are uh, moving a backlog worth 4.5 weeks from April to the month of May. So in simple words, apart from these uh, uh, 50 units, we have to keep in mind the 56 units from the previous month. And based on this quantity of 50 units, uh, those 56 units turn out to be equal to a backlog of 4.5 weeks. So uh, this is how different calculations are made for an S and OP grid for a make to order production environment. Just keep one point in mind that these grids are dynamic in nature. So they, they keep on updating. For example, once the month of January ends, um, uh, this grid will move one week forward and we will be making similar calculations for May and so on. So this keeps on uh, updating with the passage of time. So I hope this uh, grid is clear. Thank you very much.